When I was small enough to hide by sitting down in a field of corn, people didn't always know what to make of me. Sometimes I didn't know what to make of myself. I became tired of this planet, of its heteronormative gender roles. I used to tell people I was from the boy-girl planet. As an adult, I've often regretted that my younger self didn't call it the girl-boy planet, but I was a product of the hegemony surrounding me. The boy-girl planet was an amazing place where everyone could play football and then play with dolls. I can't remember if I believed this fantasy or if it was just something I used to say. My mum and dad didn't mind me questioning the place I should take in society. Sometimes other kids' parents did. And the other kids themselves were less than sensitive to my theories on power structures inherent in binary gender roles. The only time I remember my parents policing my gender expression was when they forced me to wear this dress to my mum's graduation. I have never let them forget it. There was a time when I wondered why my parents didn't warn me that my sort of open expression wouldn't earn me many friends. But now I'm relieved they didn't. I think it would have led to complicated self-hatred issues in later life. Since inventing the boy-girl planet, I've learnt more about the vocabulary of gender. I've tried to use some of my new words in this very cartoon. Where's the boy-girl planet now? Well, over the years it became surplus to requirement. I don't feel that different from the people around me most of the time. It's very rare these days that I feel the need to book a last minute city break on the boy-girl planet. Well, it's not me, I'm an alien. And anyway, just because I've got short hair, I could be one of the little women the amount of cooking and sewing I do. Why can't I be the lady one? But that's just sexist stereotyping. Maybe it is about who has the short hair. I think the best thing for me is just to keep the boy-girl planet in my back pocket for a rainy day.